I want to do a brief demo on layers and why we use them and how to create them and how to move elements to different layers. We use layers to organize the information in our drawings. This enables us to turn layers on and off or freeze and thaw them to create different views of our project so that we can show a floor plan versus a furniture plan versus a reflected ceiling plan. So let's talk briefly about how to create a new layer. What you want to do is you want to go to this Home tab and look for this layer area on the ribbon and you want to select where it says layer properties and this is going to open the layer properties manager and you can see right now the only layer that we have is layer 0 which is the default layer for AutoCAD so the first thing we're going to do is create a handful of layers and refer to the CAD standards, the IDCAD standards to get the layer names, the line weights um, and the colors you may have to create some additional ones be beyond this one and you may have to fine tune them here and there but for the most part this is a really great place to start so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button here which is the new layer button and I'm gonna turn on my caps lock and the first layer I'm gonna make is a dash glaze and I'm gonna go over here I've just made the name here and I'm gonna go over to the color and I'm gonna change it to yellow and I'm going to leave the line type as continuous and set the line weight to 0.35 and the line weight is going to control how um, thick the line is when you plot it so then the next one I'm going to do I'm going to click another one and you can see because I had a glaze highlighted when I hit this new layer button it retains the properties from that layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a door and it is also going to be yellow and it is also going to be 0.35 so you can see that if you highlight the right layer it can save you a little bit of time especially if you're creating a lot of new layers so now let's create a floor woodwork and that one is going to be red and the line weight is going to be 0.13 then I'm going to create one that's going to be a floor hidden and I'm going to make that one light gray and I'm going to change the line type here from continuous which is a solid line and I want to make this one a dashed line so I want to click on continuous and you can see here I have a dashed line type in here but if you need to load an additional line type all you have to do is go down here to the load button and then you can select from any number of um, line types that that AutoCAD has so I'll go in here I'm going to select dashed two, and then I can highlight it and click OK and it'll assign it to that layer so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create my next one which is going to be a wall exterior and the that one is going to be white and the I need to change the line type back to continuous here because it picked up that uh, last layer I created and the line weight is going to be 0.4 create another one which is going to be a wall interior I'm going to change that one to 9 and it's got the same line uh, line weight the next one is going to be a uh, viewport now this is going to not going to be one that we're going to use yet but I'm going to create it in order to show you another setting that you can use so I've typed in the name I'm going to go ahead and change the color to magenta and I'm going to change the line weight to 0.5 although with this one it doesn't particularly matter and then what I'm going to do I'm going to use this little scroll bar down here and I'm going to scroll over to the right until I get to the column labeled plot and this controls whether the layer will be plotted or not plotted and in this case I want this one not to plot so we can see it on the screen but it doesn't plot so if I click on that you can see now I've got this printer icon with a red circle with a line through it and that means it's not going to plot so now I've created my handful of layers here and I'm going to close my layer manager and now what I'm going to do is look at how to move the, the elements that I have. Everything right now is drawn on layer 0 and how do I move it to the correct layer. So let's start by going to, um, I'm going to select the, the walls here and you can select a bunch of things at one time. 
and I know all of these walls are going to go on the A wall exterior layer. So I'm just going to select a few. Now again, in AutoCAD there's always multiple ways to do things. So you can either go up here to the pull down and find the layer that you want it to be, or what you can do, I'm going to select the next group of things here, I'm going to select this uh, window here, and I can right click and I can open up properties and under the general here I can click on the layer and it'll give me a pull down and then I can change the layer and now you can see when I changed the the lines that make up the window here you can see it's taken on the properties of that layer so now it's yellow so what I'm going to do this will be another good example here I'm going to select these items here which is um, kitchen cabinet so I'm going to go in and select a floor woodwork and you can see they're going to turn red and then these lines here are the upper cabinet so I'm going to select those and this time I'm going to go do this pull down here again and I can select a floor hidden and so then it'll change it to the um, this will this will be a dashed line when we when we go to plot it so that's what you want to do in order to move items from layer to layer um, and when you use a layer, anytime you need a different line weight or you need a different line type, you need a new layer. Um, and you also want to try to group things logically. Uh, you want all the doors to be on the right layer so that you can freeze and thaw and control those, those views. So that's kind of a basic overview of layers, how to create them, and how to manipulate them.